Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here. I'm here. All right. So apparently the game did not actually start. Uh, <laughs> and apparently also my bladder was much bigger than I thought. It's like a Mega Man health bar, except... I don't know, it had a couple of E-Tanks still left over and it decided to refill itself as I was emptying it. <laughs> Alright, we're ho we're hopping into the next game. I won't replay the map intro and everything. But, uh... Yeah, we're getting ready to hop into game number three. This is match point in the winner's finals. I want to remind you guys, the winner of this moves on to the grand finals. Now, the grand finals is the only match that's actually going to determine. It's the only qualifying match that exists in this entire qualifier. So, winner's finals is very important. But the loser is still going to go to the loser's bracket and still have a chance to make it to that grand final. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're hopping into it. The score is tied up one to one. Let's do this. All right. Spawn... <laughs> Spawn down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. We have the blue Terran player. You know him well from Mexico. Give it up for Major from Invasion Esports. And his opponent. Spawning up here in the top right-hand corner of the map. We have the red Zerg player. Took game one. Almost looks like he could have taken game number two. Well, actually, no. Game number two was pretty one sided. Took game number one. Give it up for Red Wolves. Eric from Brazil. And someone in the chat was saying, uh, oh, it's Fear Dragon from Reddit. Adrenocide. <laughs> you know, it's always a little bit frustrating to me to think that the thing that I'm most well known for is making paint images on Reddit about StarCraft. That's the thing that the most people in the entire world know me for. Which is a little bit frustrating because I do consider myself more of a commentator than an image poster on Reddit. But... That's just the way it works. Do you know how how demotivating it is to meet David Kim at BlizzCon and everything? Or to like meet people like from the Blizzard StarCraft 2 development team? I'm so excited and everything. And they're like, oh, Fear Dragon. And I'm like, oh man, they know who I am. Maybe they know me for some of the casting they did. I do. Maybe they know me for some of the events that I run. Maybe they know me like from all these other things. Like, oh, Fear Dragon, you post those useless facts on Reddit, don't you? And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's me. It's like, cool, uh, do you do anything else? Like, no, that's that's all I do. Oh, but all right. TVZ, we're hopping in game number three. We got a hatch first coming out from Eric, so nothing super crazy. We don't see any proxy hatches coming out. Major, of course, not throwing out any of his own shenanigans just yet. And uh, we are going to be seeing a pretty fast tech up to the factory once again. I think a single Reaper was made along with the Marines. So the Marine going to be nice for shutting down any kind of Overlord scouting, etc. But this Reaper should be able to get some good damage done just because the number of Zerglings out of the map is fairly light. And the fact that this was a hatch first does mean that the Queens are not out just yet. Reaper uh, already getting more damage than I kind of anticipated it to. Getting two kills, one Worker kill and one Zergling kill. Uh, Major able to make it some nice damage happen, but Lair Light Crest is a map that has a lot of very, very big, big amount of space. And oh god, everyone is saying like, oh, is it lag or something? Like, what's going on? Oh no, okay. It did return on, okay. Sorry, I, was, uh, that, I guess it's like right at the moment where I returned and I made the Mega Man joke. People are laughing, I'm glad people found it funny. Um, okay, Lair Tech going up very, very quickly for Eric. So as much as Major is going for that, you know, relatively, not super fast, but relatively fast factory starport tech up. No super fast 3cc play on Lair Light Crest. Uh, there's going to be a very, very fast Lair Tech for Eric. Going up potential two-base Spire play as some of those gas guys are being thrown down. But the, the Reaper comes into the main base. He scouts this out, and this is a really, really big deal because scouting out that your opponent is going for the two-base Lair does really allow you to prepare quite a bit more you know okay i gotta get up that engineering bay i've gotta or you know if i want to defend with like the missile turrets or i've gotta make sure i don't skimp on my marines and there's all kinds of things that you do to make sure you're prepared for potential mutilus transition now, eric is going to continue to run up a little bit but as this layer is now finished up we'll see when he decides to i just want to confirm he's going to be throwing down that spire and there it is Fire being thrown down. Major 
Well, he's not even going to go for a third CC. That's another really big thing is that he says, okay, well, I know that you haven't grabbed this third expansion. I know you haven't grabbed this third expansion. So all I have to do is, you know, put on whatever pressure until your Spire finishes up and I can throw down more barracks safely. I don't need to go for a third CC. I'm already going to be in a great position economically and the Hellions are going to try and uh, make that even better, uh, even more so than they were before. As they uh, do manage to kill off a couple of these Zerglings, some nice Medivac Micro pulling back one of those weakened Hellions to the backside. The Medivac is going to get kicked, picked off, but the drones are going to be under fire relatively shortly. As a pretty good split up over here, but I think that these Hellions should be able to still do some good damage. Eight workers killed, nine workers killed, a lot of these Hellions starting to fall now. As major, I mean, for four Hellions and a Medivac, that's not a terrible amount of damage. That's a pretty good amount of damage. And most importantly, he is probably going to be delaying, but just by the fact that a lot of these workers really weren't mining and even gas wasn't really mining, that's going to delay the number of butyls that can come out. Look at this. Eric has so much gas right now that he can try and use to make stuff. And oh my god, it looks like Eric ended up losing an Overlord for a second. But, uh... Eric has so much gas, but he actually can't afford to make any Mutalus right now. In fact, he's not making any Mutalus. He's throwing down a Roach Warning and grabbing a third expansion. This is such a late expansion. Uh, Polt Viking did manage to kill Supply Block him for a little bit, but is going to be backing off. He's only going to manage to get one kill. Major's looking to be in a great position. His third CC is finishing up over on this low ground. He's already got those rocks available and has a Marine protecting it. You don't need to knock down those rocks anymore since that was a change. <laughs> Obama knows Fear Dragons. Yeah, Ob Obama even knows about U Fear Dragons' useless facts. Uh, haven't you seen some of those presidential can debates? No, okay. Um, Major moving across the map and looking to put on more and more aggression. And this is where it gets so awkward. Eric's sitting on 40 workers right now. He committed so heavily into get up that two base spire play and literally didn't get to make use of any of those mutals. Now, eight of the mutals are out now. A couple more are going to be popping out as well. Scan goes down to clean up some of this creep. And this third expansion is going to be very important for Major, or sorry, for Eric to be able to defend. If he wants any chance in this, I don't think that there's even a Baneling Nest down right now, though. So he's going to be relying on pure Zerglings, Mutalists, and Queens. And he's doing an okay job. He is going to force this back a little bit. And I think that there was maybe a couple of Zerglings running around trying to do some damage over there. But not a whole lot happens. And uh, Major, he does some more damage he gets that third expansion very low on health and still has this double drop available and ready to move back on in and guess what the mutilists are on the wrong side of the map this time they are not going to be able to help out all that much queens and roaches trying to get that defense up they are going to be able to do a decent job but missile charts have finished up as well not a lot of marines over here at this third expansion for major does he have any marines yeah he has a couple of marines in his natural expansion but maybe playing a little bit too light on this we might be losing a reactor over here that could actually be a pretty annoying loss as he's done he is going to pull some of those scps over there. but here we go drop in the main base the drop in the third expansion does get cleaned up or actually mostly cleaned up there's still four or five no actually a majority of these marines are still alive the met uh, the mutalists are now trying to head back and try and deal with the fact that the lair tech has been sniped off eric is falling apart and even if he manages to pick off these medevacs does he even have enough to counterattack on the other side of the map sure he pushes back the drop of the third expansion but right now we're sitting at 33 workers 14 roaches and six mutilists have got to make this entire game turn completely on its head i don't i don't know if eric has it in him i straight up don't think that eric has it in him right now He's got a decent number of roaches, and maybe if he gets some great Ravager shots off, if he turns them into Ravagers, if he can even afford it off of these two bases right now. Only mining off those two Gas Geysers. He can knock down this wall in very, very quickly and try to get on top of the Siege Shank. Now, the Medivac count is also pretty low, so that is other uh, one other nice thing, is that because the Medivac count is low, it's going to be a little bit harder to make that... Uh, siege tank medevac micro happen and these marines are also engaging very far away from their medevac counterparts so even though they end up stimming they end up taking a couple extra losses things could maybe work out for eric but i really feel like it's going to be relying on major making some big mistakes i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but widow mine's coming off a cooldown gonna be going off and killing off some of those ravagers that's already an annoying loss 
Eric needs every single unit he can get, but he gets to do a nice position where Ravager shots could make this very awkward for Major to engage into, but a lot of those Ravager shots are a little bit too far away. GG is likely going to be called as the entire army gets taken out, and Major taking game number three and moving on to that grand finals.